Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to a new tutorial on Scratch. So in today's video, um, we'll be doing how to make a glitch effect in Scratch. Uh, it's super simple, it's way more simple than you probably would think. Tutorial. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is rename this to whatever you want. By the way, this would only work in a sprite. Because in backdrop, we're going to use clones and stuff. See, with this, you can't create clone of backdrop. So you're going to have to do this. So we'll just rename this, like, um, title. Or no, we'll rename this glitch effect. Of course, you can rename it whatever you want. So now, uh, we're just going to set up a super quick code. And here's the quick show. Costume 1. We're just going to... Delete this, and delete that, and now I'm just going to make something super simple quickly. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm done. So, as you can see, it's this super simple thing that took me like a minute to make. Uh, I, very, very, like, I'm not that uh, thinking right now. But let's just call this um, No Glitch. Um, it doesn't matter what you call it, but I like to actually like, name it like what it is. So, no glitch, and then we'll duplicate this. We're going to do glitch equals one. We're going to switch back, switch, convert to bitmap. And then we're just going to grab this tool right here, like the, like you can like drag, like, drag stuff out. Not undo that. Undo that. Um, so basically what you're going to do, you're just going to grab random pieces of stuff and you're just going to move it all around, kind of like this, like that. See, that kind of looks like a glitchy, and then you can convert back to vector, and then duplicate this, rename it to glitch equals two. Now the reason why you don't want to duplicate this is because it looks um, like... You'd have to like re-put all of this back to how it was because like it just it wouldn't look correct. Like it just you'd make it more glitch effect. And you want to have different types of glitch effects. So basically convert to bitmap, make sure in uh, the this one. Uh, just do this a bunch of times. Move it around. And you'll, um, so what you want to do here, now this is the, I'm just going to put a weight in here. Uh, weight, 0 0.3 seconds. Repeat. Now you're going to have the repeat as many times as you have a glitch. So don't count the glitch, like the no glitch. You're going to count, so I have four. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I have five, never mind. So I'm going to want this to be five. Then you're going to do create clone of myself. Make sure to add a show. And then, where is it? When I start as a clone, when I start as a clone, you're going to switch costume to pick random. And then, now, don't make sure this isn't, like, I'm going to do two to six. Because as you can see, we're not using this one. This is the original one. And there's six costumes, so I'm going to go... So it's going to pick something between two and the, like between the costume two and costume six. It's going to pick one, one of that. And then we're going to do go to pick random negative 200 to 200. Oops. 200. And then duplicate this and do negative 150. To 150. And then you can just do like weight, maybe like weight zero 
point five seconds or something like eight. Don't this clone. Zero point eight seconds. No, let's just do one second. So as you can see. Oh whoops, I forgot that. The switch costume tube goes in here, I believe. Oh, and make sure this is a go to front layer. Yeah, there you go. And then, because that, that was a little fast. So, what you can do in here 0 0.1 seconds. There. And then, delete this clone. Yeah, that, that's literally it. You can do as much as you want with it. If you want to make that this so it happens at a button, then all you'd really need to do is just do this. Like, when I receive, so make a new sprite. It's just, dude, it's like, when this sprite clicked, the broadcast message one. Five, uh, super quick, super quick, you know. So, like, you can see. And then you click it. That doesn't, and that doesn't allow. You could even make this longer if you want. 0 0.5 seconds. Oops, I'm not sure. Sure. Whatever you wanted. See? Look at that. Um, so yeah, it's that simple to make a glitch effect. There's a... Like that. And then you could do like a transition. Like that Like that could be a transition. It's it's super easy. This is all the code you really need to make it. If you wanted to like, have it like... If a button is pressed, you make like a glitch effect. This is all of it right here. This is all you need. Um, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you found this helpful, consider subscribing and dropping a like. Um, I'm going to make more Scratch videos like this in the future. Um, and other than that, have a good rest of your day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.